where I got my work ethic from was the hours I had to spend learning this. When you sit down and you're not smart, and you have a disability, and you still want to be at the top of your class, I didn't want to just get by. When I realized that I can learn through hard work, and I can beat the Val Victorian in school, but I got put in 10 hours more a day than he does. You know what kind of strength comes from that? When you're sitting down, that guy, that Val Victorian study for an hour, and you know I caught you. I caught you, but I have the work ethic to catch you. That's where David Goggins got really invented, was at a kitchen table with 20 spiral notebooks that were empty. And then three months later, they were full. And when you can go through that, I still have them in my storage unit. You go through these spiral notebooks of your life and you realize this is how I learned. This is unbelievable. There's no miles. It's not about the miles. It's that. Having a discipline every day to say, for me to learn this one math problem, it's going to take me 10 hours. And you realize through hard work, you can outwork anybody. I come here to remind you that there's only one thing you can do. The only thing you can do, only thing that is controllable, if you want it, if you want this, is work. Started using the word work more than the word hustle, just because I want everybody to understand what we're really talking about here. Nobody you know has become successful outside of it being given to them from their family. Nobody you know has actually created success without working their face off. It doesn't exist. So you can sit and talk about luck, and you can sit and talk about this, that, or the other thing, but I promise you, the only controllable thing you have is your work ethic. I implore you to start matching your work ethic and your actions to your mouth. If you're gonna be a billionaire, you need to realize that most people that create billion dollars worth of wealth don't do anything besides work every single day of their 20s and 30s.